Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Lexi, and today I'm so excited. We are going to continue this week's episode of Demon Slayer, which is season three, episode 10, Love Hashira Mitsuri Kanroji. I have been waiting and waiting. If you've been keeping up with these reactions, I, you know I have been waiting for this episode where it's going to be all about the love of Hashira. She just seems like such a ball of life and energy and amazingness. And I just, I'm, I'm curious to see what her backstory is all about. Hopefully we get to see that in this episode. I'm curious more about her love techniques and uh, what that looks like. So hopefully we get to also see that in this episode. And I think like, I'm not really talking about skill wise or strength wise or coolness wise, but um, I think just like her character makes her my favorite Hashira so far. Just very refreshing, refreshing to see. And I think she has a very similar mindset to Tanjiro and just seeing them interact together uh, is just like the cutest thing in the world. So it, it makes me really happy. I just always have a smile on my face when they're both on screen. So yeah, I'm excited to jump right into it, but uh, before we do, let's do a quick recap. So last episode, where we left off is Muichiro Tokito, um, hit, that was his episode, he defeated Gyoko, which is just sick. All in like the first 10 minutes of the episode, so kudos to Tokito. Um, and then also, we are left with Nezuko, Tanjiro, and Genya fighting off the Hantengo's hatred demon. But they they started to get overwhelmed. It wasn't looking good for them. But then Mitsuri swooped in at the last second and was able to save Tanjiro. And now she's on her way to save Genya and Nezuko as well. So left off at a cliffhanger for that. But her entrance in there was just phenomenal. It was sick. I love her ribbon dancing fighting style and I love her ribbon sword. It just it just fits so perfectly, but it's like so surprising and unexpected uh, for a demon slayer. And it's just, yeah, it just makes her so much cooler. So yeah, I, as you can see, I'm like at the edge of my seat to get into this. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could be a part of making this channel grow. And also, if you want to see this video full length unedited, as well as more demon slayer reactions as they drop each week, before they get uploaded to YouTube. Uh, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers two and three. So without further ado, let's jump into season three, episode 10 of Demon Slayer, Love Hashira Mitsuri Khan Roji. You know, her theme song and the way they're drawing her fighting style reminds me a lot of Sailor Moon. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Look at this. Also, like, how is she so strong like that? That is crazy. Ooh, it's like kind of pink. That was sick. <laughs> She's like scolding him. Shameless tramp? <laughs> Thunder death. Cat love shower? Yeah. Oh, I love her theme song. She just gives so much energy and life and hope with her her fighting scenes. Ooh. You got this. <laughs> Yep, yep. Haunting is in there. Go, go, go! <gasps> I can't help but dance. The brain fifth form. 
swing low. Wild thought. Go, Nezuko, go, Nezuko. Hurry, Genya. Whoa! Muscular strength. Muscular strength. Wait, so she's actually just built different? <laughs> That's crazy. No, 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 no! <gasps> backstory, backstory. Oh, my God. Ooh, cherry blossoms. Love it. Oh, my God. Okay, so she's actually just you didn't have to do all that. <laughs> God damn. Oh, is that little Mitsuri? Oh. <laughs> oh, she had black hair when she was younger. That's interesting. Good. Probably where all the, that protein goes. <laughs> Sakura rice balls. Ooh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> I'm glad their parents are supportive of how strong she is. So her hair changed color at a young age. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Oh, she's dying her hair. Oh. Her parents are still very supportive. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love her for you. Oh, my God. I love her for her. <laughs> I don't think it's as much as just finding a man for her. It's just, it's a complicated way of her saying, like, just being accepted for who she is because she doesn't accept herself. I mean, she is playing out her strengths, ob obviously, by being a demon slayer, but it's definitely like these insecurities that she has about how different she is from other women or comparing herself to other women. Um, and then, of course, like, that ties into finding a man to marry, not being able to find someone who loves her for her because she can't even love herself at this point. That's what I'm getting from that. So far, not as tragic of a backstory as we've seen with the other characters, but definitely the most relatable, 100%, especially for women in this time. Not that we're all like desperately searching to marry a man, but definitely comparing ourselves to others all the time, trying to fit in hiding parts about ourselves so we can be accepted. I think anyone can relate to that. Oh, yeah. This is great. They accept her for who she is and she's loving it. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I thought her theme song was about to just go off again. Oh. Does the serpent Hashiram make his appearance here? Or. Yeah. Oh. That is so sweet. God, she needed that. She needs to, like, feel it herself. That's so sweet. I don't have a few. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wait. Wait. What? <laughs> Does he like her? Why is he acting like this? <gasps> what? Wait, 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 wait. Ho wait. <laughs> he is so sweet to her. Why is he so sweet to her? Does he ha does he have feelings for her? Cause like every every time we've seen him, he's like mean. <laughs> It says mean things to like get under people's skin, right? Well, he did for, didn't he for Tanjiro? He, he just doesn't like Tanjiro. But he's so sweet to her. That is adorable. All right. I think I like the Serpent Ashi right now. <laughs> that is so cute. And she's wearing them. That's where her, whoa, that's where her green socks come from. That is adorable. Okay, okay. Let's, let's get back into this. <laughs> She was holding back? Ooh. Yeah, just get Han Tengu. Good. Let's go. Alright, Tanjiro. Make that sword red again. She's so awesome. Ooh, the scent. Figure out where he is. <laughs> oh my god, look at her go! She's like an acrobat. She also has a she also has a, a mark on her neck. They're all getting marks. No. She eats too much for that. She ain't losing any stamina. <laughs> God, she is awesome. I freaking love her. I feel like that's pretty obvious. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> Tundra. <laughs> Tundra, don't worry about that. Just let him do his thing. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! So if he eats a demon, he can get demon's traits. Okay, so that's what this is. That's what's going on with him. Okay. Oh! So he was eating that guy. Yo! Good. 
Alright, Tanjiro, it's up to you. I still love her pink flames. It's so sick. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, his strength is insane, too. That was the quickest episode. I guess that was uh, episode 10, se season three of Demon Slayer, Love Hashira meets Rikon Roji. And we got her backstory and this time it wasn't super traumatizing. So that was great. It seems her parents are very uh, supportive of her and who she is. I think it's just self insecurities that she struggles with, which I mean, very relatable very very relatable she's been just like muscularly like physically swole her entire life <laughs> which i think is dope she eats a lot of food again you gotta get those carbs you gotta get those protein to keep those gains you know what i mean so i'm like that's awesome love that she's yeah so she's very very strong she wants to find love she wants to have a partner she wants, and, and I think it can go as far as to say she just wants someone who accepts her for her. And it seems like she's getting that now. Like finding, like obviously her family does to love her and accept her for who she is, but also to find uh, people that have no reason to as well. And joining the Demon Slayer core has kind of, I think helped her confidence, has helped her uh, reassurance of how great of like a person she really is how great of a character she really is and um her her self-worth yeah it, it's really great to see her helping others and then responding positively back to her after you know we saw a couple times of guys rejecting her or her trying to tone down who she is in order to accommodate what they want from a woman and all of that so for her to be herself and the serpent Hashira? <laughs> this is this is interesting. Okay, I was not expecting this, but the servant Hashira, I think likes her. I don't know if it's a romantic thing or if he just likes her as a friend or admires her, but it seems like he he seemed very bashful when he gave her the socks and then turned back and he's like, if you rip them, I'll get you another pair. Like that I think is as far as the serpent Hashira goes, that's probably as close to him confessing his feelings to her, right? I don't know if she noticed. It didn't seem like she was like flustered or anything. So maybe she just thought he was being just really kind to her and can't even imagine like a guy liking her for who she is at the moment. But I love that. I love that because what we, we usually see the serpent Hashira kind of um, giving snooty remarks to people and he doesn't like Tanjiro like at all and that's all we really see of him and so to see him being like super adorable and sweet and giving her a gift and not only that like it matches her hair like one of her biggest insecurities like she dyed her hair black because she did like she was ashamed of it and to give her a pair of socks that matches the color of her hair, just to show that he like accepts that and she should embrace it even more. Like that is, wow. I'm re I might be reading too much into that like 20 second excerpt of them together, but you know, that, that just warms my heart. I really, really enjoyed this episode. It went by way too fast. And I guess hearing 
Tanjiro and the gang trying to protect her, knowing her worth as a fighter and respecting her and everything. Flipped a switch in her again. She's like, oh yeah. That re reassurance really helped her um, get her confidence back. And she's like, I was holding back. I was like, holding back. <laughs> she was giving so much already. And yeah, she's just amazing. And like I said before, her style is very acrobatic, the way she fights and obviously ribbon dancing, right? It, it's just, it's just so fun to watch. And it's just, it's like a 180 from the Mist Hashira, right? Like the Mist Hashira, he, every time that he's doing his movements and the, the music in the background is very mysterious and cool and collected. Hers is like, -na 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 -na. like it's, it's got this sick beat to it. You can't help but dance and cheer her on the entire time. And you just, it's just so much optimism optimism I think fills the room when the song plays and she's doing her thing and it's just such a fun time it just makes everything go by way faster though I wish I wish this episode was an hour long <laughs> but yeah thoroughly enjoyed it it definitely solidified her as my favorite Hashira so I'm here for it I think I've been blabbing on about her and in, in this episode forever but I'll end it here if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could be part of making this channel grow. And if you want to watch this video full length unedited, as well as early access to more Demon Slayer reactions as they drop each week, uh, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers two and three. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.